so I've been looking at some other comments from other magician channels, and it looks like a lot of you guys want a C3 color change tutorial. Now, this is what this channel is all about. Not C3 particularly, but just making good content videos that you won't see in any other video or any other channel. And I know from a consumer perspective myself, because I was there and I know how it can be hard trying to find a good tutorial because there's a lot of people who just like make duplicates of other videos and you know this is what the channel is about trying to find a unique video. So this is C3. Please consider subscribing and liking this video. Remember to turn on your notifications by hitting the little bell right beside the subscribe button. And let's go into this tutorial. Alright guys, so well, I think the camera's a little bit too low. Let me fix that. There we go. Alright, that's better. So what you're going to need is four cards for this effect and you're going to have to set them up to where there's a face down card on the top and a face down card on the bottom like a sandwiching these two face up cards all right and how you're going to um, set up for this I'm just going to take your index finger place it on the top of the deck and your thumb you're going to place it over here at the bottom of the deck all right bottom corner particularly and all you're going to do with your index finger you're going to take the bottom card and just shift it over like that a little bit and you're going to take your middle finger sorry is that too high <laughs> you're going to take your index finger and slide it over and take your middle finger keep sliding over just like that so it gets into this position right here and note that you still have these two cards together squared right there alright and now all you're going to do you, this is the setup position for the color change all you're going to do is with your ring finger or middle finger actually you can kind of choose um, it doesn't really matter I don't think but I particularly like using my ring finger um, you're just going to move the squared up card on the bottom with your ring finger just like that and that and the motion of your ring finger doing that is going to square up with the eight diamonds there or whatever card you have sandwiched in the middle um, that's going to get the color change and I'm going to also teach you how to do this vanish sorry I messed that up but I'll also teach you how to do that vanish in just a minute but for now I just want you to practice on this ring finger move because that's going to be the main move that you're going to do in this and it'll take some practice oh yeah uh, another tip to uh, point out is that if you're having trouble squaring up the middle cards uh, a good tip is to use the side of your ring finger not so much the um, the middle part where you would typically want to use to push over the card. So you're probably going to want to use the uh, the edge of it. It's a lot better to square the cards. Just like that. And also doing, uh, you can either do a little like shake motion, motion or you can uh, wave your hand over it to do the uh, move as well. You can choose I kind of like the waving hand motion because it gives more cover as well. Um, so now to move into the uh, disappearing part of it. So after you've done the color change, you'll have you'll be in this position with the two face of cards squared together in the middle of these sandwiched cards, and you're still going to be in about the same position. As you were before. All you're gonna do, take your ring finger, 
and make contact with this card. And it should be really easy just to slide it over and square it with the, with the other card. This might be kind of hard to explain because my hand is like right in front of the cards. So as you can see, gone. Sorry, I didn't really square it up there. Oh yeah, um, make sure you have a pretty good tight grip on these cards because um, if you don't have a good tight grip, then it'll probably fall out like just happened to me. Um, I feel like the camera's not focusing. <laughs> I guess it is. But, um, so you can also make a card appear and make it vanish if you want. Just kind of like a fun move to practice. And you can also do the color change. Just like that. It also helps um, to have cards that don't have the white edges around the side. Of course these cards don't, they're all black around the edges. And it's also good to have good contrasting colors of cards because it's barely um, a corner that's changing. And I do get that I don't really have good contrasting uh, colors here. But you should not follow my rules. Follow your own rules. So a uh, quick recap of what you're supposed to do. You're going to have the deck in this position. Uh, index finger on the top about in the middle and thumb on the bottom about in the middle. You're going to take your index finger and push over the bottom card just like that. And you're going to take your middle finger and push over the next card just like that. Um, also another thing to note is that your index finger is not going to be making contact. It's not going to be holding on to the middle card at all. So this is just going to be a free card to move around easy. And if you do hold on to it, it'll make it a lot harder to move around. So that's a good tip. Um, and once you're in this position, you're all, once you're in this position, you're, all you're going to do, take your ring finger and just kind of like try to move the king or whatever you have underneath there into the middle and square it up. All right, let me get a good thumbnail picture. That's pretty bad. <laughs> but there we go. All right, um, that's a tutorial. Here we go. All right, guys, that's all for this video. The tutorial was kind of short. There wasn't really much to uh, teach in this video, but I do really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, consider subscribing to this channel. It really helps a lot. And leave a like and a comment, especially comment on my videos. Um, just tell me what I did wrong, and I'll see you in the next video.